us up. We're ready. Band basics about to go down. We got one band here. This is the band we're gonna use. It's a full loop band. About 10 pounds resistance, not very heavy at all. We also have this band, just in case those of you at home don't have the full loop. This one will work also. Um, we have it where we're gonna make it as easy and simple as you can. No other equipment needed other than something to step on and something to sit on. So let's get ready. Got my, my client Brandon with us. He's gonna be doing the, all the demoing. He's a big, strong, muscular guy. We're gonna see how we can make him sweat. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with what we call a tube walk. So he's gonna step in halfway through, he's gonna twist the band, and he's gonna pull the band straight up. So from there, we're gonna walk straight laterally, pushing through those heels. Here is we want to make sure that he's keeping those elbows as straight as he can as he's pulling through the elbows. Really working that back. Again, we're doing 12 reps. Oh, this is not looking good right here. Again, we're going to wrap it around his back. And we're going to do a chest press. It's more like a chest fly almost, it's a press into a fly. So as he does this, he's gonna bring and he's gonna squeeze those wrists together. By doing that, we're getting full activation of that chest the whole way through. Again, you can make this as hard, as easy as you want to. Um, the lighter the band, obviously the easier. The stronger the band, the harder. Right, he's doing, done, doing 12 reps. We're gonna start back over with those tube walks. Put those elbows a little bit higher. There you go. So what you feeling right now? How those hips feel? <laughs> Got a little sweat going already. And turn it back around. So as you see with his feet, he's keeping his feet shoulder width apart as he's stepping wide, pushing through the ankle. Feet are staying shoulder width apart the entire time. He's picking up both feet every step. <laughs> and we're going back. Going back to those band pull parts. Yeah, got my shoulders burning. Oh yeah. Shoulders burning. There you go. <clears throat> How many reps are we doing here? Doing twelve. Twelve We're still reps. Doing 12. See that burn coming. Anybody out there doing fire. these? Vicky, I see you. You doing this? Get yourself a band. Good. And now I'll go back behind you and you're doing your press. Chest press. A lot of times we don't need a lot of weight to get a good amount of exercise in, good amount of calories burned, good amount of muscle tension. Really pushing through here. Again, we're touching those wrists together. By touching those wrists together, we're just forcing that whole chest contract, and then we're bringing it back wide, getting a big pec stretch. Guys, if you all fail, if you all start to see if you're not able to reach those wrists, don't be afraid to drop that band and finish the rest of the reps without it. All right, take a quick little break, quick little break.
We're gonna move on to the next set. We're gonna use uh, this little band, um, the same band, we're gonna put it onto um, just something stable. So we're gonna use a sled, but in reality, we can use anything, whether it's the side of the couch, you can use um, a chair, you can use whatever you want, just something that won't move easily. So from there, he's gonna lay on the ground. He's gonna get that back completely flat onto the ground. That camera is getting really bad right now. And with that flat back, we're gonna pull our feet straight up towards the ceiling. Our arms gonna be up. take some of that tension out. So what that means is just get a little bit closer to where that band is, let those legs relax, keep those legs up though. Try not to let your knees drop below 90 degrees, but still do everything else the exact same way. All right, B, you ready? We got one more set. One more set. Guys, we're seven minutes in. We're seven minutes in. And let's pull it in. And Stephen? Um, you can buy these bands everywhere. All right. Everywhere. I think even TJ Maxx sometimes. TJ Maxx, Amazon. Amazon has everything. Right. Walmart, Target, um, you name it. it. They're everywhere. So you don't need something heavy. You don't need something expensive. Get the simplest, cheapest bands you can find and just make it work for you. Awesome. All right. All right, B. Next one, we're going to go that band wrapped around your waist. So we're going to wrap that right around his waist. Start with hip hinge. So, what I want you to do is reach your butt back into a hip hinge and you're going to squeeze through the glutes to bring yourself straight back up. Right there. Good. Just doing eight of these. Getting a little bit of hamstring activation. Squeeze the glutes through a little bit. Allowing your body to come back to us a little bit more. Bring that heart rate back down. Again, to make this easier, just 
scoot back closer to where that band is starting from to make it harder, walk further out. You'll feel the tension there at your waist. And just keep on walking to get as much tension as you need. All right, same thing last time, we got eight. What's his rest period in between his um, we're reps? We're about 30 seconds rest between each, each set. Um, some of them we're gonna go a little bit longer just to let you recover. Um, I like to base things based on how you feel. So you never want to go overboard to where you're not able to perform the movements the right way um, and comfortably. At the same time, you don't want to allow yourself to just get lazy with it either. You want to keep pushing yourself, keep your heart rate up, but maintain um, that you can keep that form the right way. It is always about maintaining. It is about maintaining. <laughs> about maintaining. You got to maintain. Last one. And rest. Go ahead and hop out that band. Alright. Alright, so now we're going to progress on to the ground. So we're going to be in the plank. We start with. So we're going to be in the most basic plank. As you can see. So we're going to go plank. Starting the plank. Here we go. So starting the plank. So we're going to be facing, facing the band. Facing the band. So we're going to be in our basic average plank. Let's start with our on our feet. So go ahead and bring those toes. And let's spread them a little bit. So the wider it is, it's going to be easier for him to maintain this position. Drop your butt just a tad right there. And you see he has his knees bent. That is fine. If you want to, go ahead and straighten those knees real quick. Go ahead and go to the straight traditional plank. For now, we're going to have those knees bent just a little bit. So just drop them down anyway. A lot of people call this the bear position. Pull those shoulders out your ears. And now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to pull straight through into a row. So you're going to take that band in one hand and pull that elbow straight back towards the ceiling. So as you see, as he does this, he rotates just a little bit. What I'm going to ask him to do is straighten out. So drop that right hip down and try to keep that back as still as you can as you pull and just move that arm. So as we're doing that, we're forcing our core to work a lot harder and to maintain and stabilize our whole body, but also adding a little bit of lat activation to this movement. So as you see, his tricep on this other arm is really coming out right now because that's what stabilizes him and holding him up. Along could we, with that entire core. Can we have him modify by dropping to his knees? Yep. So go ahead and come down to your knees. So for those that are not able to maintain that same thing, go ahead and switch arms. I want you to squeeze your hips in towards the ground just a little bit, B. So think about almost coming into the same standard type of plank you would be. Pull your back, pull your belly button into your chest. And now, there you go, right there. So, as you see, he's completely level from his hips to his shoulders. That's gonna allow him to still maintain the activation of his core. But we're just shortening the range of motion a little bit with his elbow, and then also shortening the length between his chest and his knees to make it a little bit easier on the core. Last one. And go ahead and turn to the side. Did so you like that we're break? We're going to come back and either have the knees on the ground again or you can come back onto the feet. And from here, we're going to do a lateral raise. So, same type of movement except we're working just the lateral part of the shoulder. So, we're going to reach straight out and back. So, again, working a lot of the same things, we're just adding a little bit of the shoulder to it. We're still doing eight reps. Sweating with a band. Sweating with a band. A lot of times you don't need something that's heavy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can switch it up. Just have a nice little pretty band. Back to the top. Give you everything you need. All right, starting back from the top. We got our plants again. Yes. 
sets and take about 30 seconds. You just want to maintain that heart rate being high. It's going to help induce that weight loss or fat loss. Burn as many calories as we can. And same thing on the other side. And now we've modified it and got the new things. I think he chose that on his own. I think so. To modify. I think he did. I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> No problem with modifying it. Last one. And come back to the side. Come back to our lateral legs. So this is when we start to rub up the intensity a little bit, keep up the energy. So he's gonna do this last eight. We're gonna give him a little bit of encouragement. If he can do it, he can do it. Let's go. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Breathe through it, breathe through every time. There you go. Last two. And take a rest. Take a rest. Take a rest. All right. Let's so, take the camera off. One to ten. How you feeling right now? Good. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, these bands can get some work in. I underestimated it when I first saw it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> this is just as hard as lifting weights right here. <laughs> this is a small band too. This is a small, small band. band. Again, this band is about ten pounds. About ten pounds of resistance. As you stretch it further, it's going to add resistance to it, but just in general, it's about 10 pounds. So, you don't need a lot. You do not need a lot, especially when you're performing everything the right way. All right, so what I'm going to have you do, B, I'm going to have you grab that band, and you're going to put it into your left hand. So, you leave it on there. You're going to put it in that left hand, and you're going to turn and face me. So, now we're going to do what we call what's a lateral lunge, we're going to add a little press to it. So when we do this lateral lunge, I'm gonna have him grab you with your right hand also, have your left hand on, underneath. So I'll put him and I'll him together. There you go. And now, from here, we're gonna bring it to his chest. So bring that band up to your chest. We're gonna laterally lunge. So step out. And we're gonna rotate the hip towards that foot. There you go. And as you do that, bring it to your chest and press. There you go. And come back up. And again, step out. And press it straight out. Straight, straight out, straight out. There you go. And back. There you go. And step. Press. Bend. And back. Two more. And step. Press. Last one. And step. And press. And switch side. So this one we're only doing a couple reps just to get a little bit of activation still in the game. We're trying to let that heart rate come down just a little bit, but we're still working it. So, B, all I want you to do is try to keep those hands in the middle of your chest, right under that necky sign. And go ahead and step out and press. Good. Three more. Step out, press. Last one. Step out and press. And relax. So with this, we're still going to be working a lot of core. We're working a whole lot of the inside of those legs. So we're not just working the front, just working the back. We're working that inside parts and the outside part also. This is going to allow you to be much more well-rounded. And it's going to allow you to walk a lot better, especially with everyone sitting down as much as they are. It's going to get everything moving. All of your muscles moving, not just the big ones. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. Start to get a little vascularity coming out of those arms. And let's step and press. Try to keep it right in that Nike sign. And back. And step. Press. And back. 
Is that? It's not horrible. Right. It's at 20. Is that? Press. Pass more. single leg movements. A lot of things we miss, especially with home workouts and simple workouts, is that everything is both feet on the ground. Both feet in equal distance on the ground. So what we're going to do is start doing things where we're splitting ourselves up. Just like we walk, we never walk with our feet together. We always walk where one foot is separated. So when we're exercising, we want to do something similar. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that band off of this rig. So go ahead and grab it off. And we're going to put that band on the back foot, so go ahead and put it right around the, the instep of that back foot. And we're going to come into a split squat. So go ahead and come into that split squat or lunge. Go ahead. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a press with the lunge. So go ahead and put it right underneath that. So wrap it around. So what we did was we pulled this where it's not going to come off, we can't drop this. We got it right here around that back foot. We're coming in where we have all of our weight on that front foot. So think about pressing into that front heel. And what we're going to do is we're going to lunge down and as we come up, we're going to add a press. So as you see, we're pressing at an angle. So we're not pressing straight overhead, we're pressing more so at a slight angle, which is going to help protect that shoulder and then give us a little bit of extra work throughout the spine. Doing eight here. Five, six, two more. Seven, last one. Eight. And now we're going to switch sides. So, as you see, we're maintaining control this whole way. We do not want to make it a real fast paced movement. We want to keep it controlled. This is going to prevent injury and then also allow us to move a lot more fluidly outside of this workout. So same thing, come down slow, take your time, and press. Good. That back leg, as he comes up, is coming straight. The front leg is maintaining a slight bend. We never want to allow our knee to go in in the front, but instead we want to keep it right about that toe. So right around his where his big toe is, is where that knee is trying to stay. Got two more. Good. Squeeze those abs. Think about that big brace. There you go. Relax, relax, relax. So now we're going to put it around that front foot. So we're going to get in the exact same position, except we're going to wrap that band around our front foot. So we're going to split it in half. So drop that band on the ground and split it in half. Step on to it. And we're gonna get in the exact same position. We're gonna grab both ends of this band. And if you need to make it a little bit easier, go ahead and move one part of that band off of the shoe. And that's gonna make it a little bit easier for you. So from here, we're gonna come into our low stance. So drop down that back knee, and we're gonna pull into a row. So pull straight up into that row through those elbows. Good. We're gonna do five reps here. Five reps here. You should have a good amount of burn in those quads already. A little bit in those glutes. As you do five, go ahead and switch feet. We're gonna be in that, keep that band in that same position. We're just gonna switch feet. So from here, we're doing a curl. So you wanna keep those elbows locked to your side and you're gonna pull straight up towards the ceiling. Again, moving those legs in that same position. Last one. 
last one. And take a quick little rest. We're gonna go back to that front part where we got that band on that back foot. We're gonna start back from our press. This is when we take a little bit longer rest because we're doing everything single leg. It's gonna take a little bit more out of us, working a little bit harder. So I'll give you about a minute in between. Um, take a little bit more if you need to. If you're ready to jump right back in, you feel pretty good and recovered, go ahead and jump right back in. We're gonna start right back from the top. We're going to that lunge and press. As we're doing this, he's continuously bracing the core every time he presses. So as he pushes, you're gonna see those abs tighten up and squeeze just to allow him to maintain a stable base. Also, as he comes back, that elbow does not come past the side. So we don't wanna let that band pull us back, but instead we're controlling the band each rep all the way up and back down and to the side. Almost there, we're at 26 minutes. 26 minutes. This How long whole workout we doing is about a 35 minute workout. Oh, that's about a 35 minute workout. So it's not super long. That's easy. It's not bad. <laughs> Anyone say Is that, that? easy? <laughs> <laughs> Real easy. <laughs> <laughs> not that bad. And let's go. Turn that thumb up a little bit towards the center. Turn your arm right here. There you go, right there. Breathe out as you press. Yes. Make sure that you are not holding your breath. Continue to breathe every rep. Think about breathing out as you press, breathing in as you drop down. Last one. And breathe out. There you go. And let's go switch and put that band flat. Put it around that front foot. And split it in half. Again, if you need to make it a little bit easier for you, Go ahead and grab one side of that band, and we're gonna come down, and we're gonna pull through those elbows into a row. So now on this one, this is our last set of this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a hold at the end. So we're gonna do our five reps. You're gonna see them add a hold. We're just gonna force everything to contract and squeeze. Our last one, and we're gonna hold here. And hold. So we're gonna hold at that back position through that pull. We're gonna hold this for about 10 seconds. This is just gonna allow all that blood to flow into those muscles. This is how we get what we call a pump. This is that nice, pretty, pretty look where all those muscles look nice and big. <laughs> and go ahead and come down and let's switch arms. Set up the same way. Split that band. And let's go into our curl. Same thing with our curl. So we're gonna lock those elbows. And as we come up, we're gonna pull straight towards the ceiling. And we're gonna do that same hold on this one. Keep all that weight in that front heel so we can drop down as vertical as possible. There you go. Last one, and get that hold. Hold, squeeze, 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 squeeze those biceps. Look at those biceps and forearms. Look at that sweat. So, and down and relax. Relax, relax, relax. All right, we're just about there. So last thing we're doing, we're gonna wrap that whole band around our entire body. So we're gonna first put it right around those feet, just like we did at the very beginning. And then you're gonna wrap that band around the back of your head. So wrap it all the way around. and we're gonna grab it, go ahead and grab it at your side. So wrap it around and grab it at the side. There you go. So we're gonna have this wrapped here. And what we're gonna do first, we're gonna do back to our hands. So we're gonna do what we call a good morning. So we're gonna push the hips straight back and squeeze the glutes to come up. So as we do this, we're gonna have a slight bend in our knees, a very slight bend in the knees. We wanna keep that back as straight as possible. Think about pulling that, pull that belly button in a little bit, B. Think about pulling that belly button to your spine and try to straighten that back. There you go. Squeeze those glutes to come up. We're gonna do eight here. Two, 
two more. Last one. And now go ahead and bring that band to the front of your face. Keep it wrapped around you. And we're gonna turn into a squat press. So go ahead and squat down. We don't necessarily need a full squat and press. About three fourths of the way down and maintain that big press all the way at the top. Again, if you need to, feel free to take your foot or take that band off one of your feet to allow that press to be a little bit easier. If you have any problems going overhead or pressing overhead, easily go ahead and eliminate that press so don't press on this one and just do the squat right there just stay right there don't add the press but maintain where the arms are that's going to give you that shoulder stability still one more good and to finish it off we're going to raise those arms up and we're doing a tricep extension so with that tricep extension what we want to do is number one maintain that core so we want to Pull that belly button in, try not to let our chest flare out, and have those elbows squeeze tight towards the head, and we're pushing straight overhead. We're doing eight. Last one. And relax, relax, relax. Almost there, we got one more set. One more set of those three exercises. Let's keep coming for a demonstration, man. I know I was about to be working out. <laughs> you did. You're doing a demonstration for everyone's workout. It's play on words. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not a trick. Not a trick. Hey, he wanted to get out the house. <laughs> he was happy to get out. Yeah. All right, same thing, last time. I think the millions of homes are gonna see this. Like, who is that guy? <laughs> there you go. You got eight. That good press. Squat and press. Squat and press. Good. Good control. Maintain that control. Tuck that chin just a little bit. There you go. Three more. Let's end it with a bang. Tricep extension to finish it off. Pull that chest in, try not to let that chest flare. There you go. Last one. That's it. And go ahead and drop that band. Shake it off. off. We gotta do a cartwheel. So finish with a cartwheel. <laughs> Go ahead and finish with a cartwheel. I don't know how long it's been since I did a cartwheel. Oh there yeah. Go. There we go. <laughs> Dang. Dang. How you feeling? No, it was a good workout. It really was. I, mean, I underestimated. I never really used bands before. Well, that's a pretty good workout. That's what it says the other wise. Yeah, that was going to be two sets of each, too. <laughs> and to make this longer, you can feel free to add more sets. We did two sets per exercise. Um, feel free to add three, four, and then also add reps. So we were doing between eight and 12 reps for everything. Go for 20, go for 15, especially if you have a lighter band. Go ahead and shoot towards the sky. Feel free to maintain that form, but go as high as you want to go. Thank you, Stefan. Thank you, B. Well done.